Hey all in dreamers, welcome back to another video. So uh, first and foremost, I know that it's been a very very long time since I roller skated and I do not know how it's gonna go today. But anyways, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys, um, well, if you didn't watch my last video, I had already told you guys that I had ordered some of the 187 killer pads for my knees and I'm trying them out for the very first time. I'm just putting them on and I wanted to ask you guys because the reason why i even got these in the first place was because you guys recommended them but i forgot to ask or maybe i went based on um the sizing online and i got a large so as i'm putting them on right now on my knee i do feel like it'll be very very well protected especially if i'm outdoors it's not gonna do much of a difference here or it's not very useful right um it's mostly for outdoors but i can definitely feel protected. The only thing is that I have very, very thick thighs and I can kind of feel my circulation being, uh, you know, like messed with right here on this part, right, right here. So I feel like if I would have gone with a size medium, I wouldn't have, you know, been able to fit on them. Um, other than that, like I said, whenever I strap them on, cause like I can take it off like that, right? I can unstrap it and I can still feel like it's very, very stiff right here and like well adjusted but i can adjust it even more with this strap right here so yeah uh, whenever it comes to like actually being straight like this sorry i really see my unmatched socks but whenever i'm straight like this i feel a little uncomfortable because of my knee i can't really put it like that i'm not sure if you can tell like that um so yeah you guys that have the 187 killer pads how do you guys feel um, did you ever get used to the knee pads being on your leg or your knees pretty much? Um, let me know down below. <laughs> um, I don't remember which other ones I was going to get um, besides this one. But yeah, I made up my mind and I got these. So I can't refund them as it's been almost like two months. But again, I feel like they are going to do their job. I might have exaggerated a little bit, but again, I was roller skating outdoors. And I need to get back to that soon. <laughs> the other one, it's kind of a struggle to be honest because again, I have very thick legs. So let's see. So I'm gonna strap this on. Strap, strap. And mainly the reason why I'm even putting them on right now when I'm indoors is because like I don't want to like scrape my knees or like have bruises. Which whenever I was skating outdoors and I had my knee pads, I was still getting bruises, but you know, I'm trying to avoid that. So hopefully they don't do anything to me on my knees. And let's see. Okay, so again, they feel a little uncomfortable. Can't bend my knees like to the back, but yeah, <laughs> I feel protected. <laughs> I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it on here, but I do have some Dr. Scholl's on my skates. And during the first week, week and a half, or even two weeks that I was using my skates just like that, I can tell that, you know, my foot will get very, very tired. So I ended up getting these Dr. Souls and they help out a bunch. So I definitely suggest you guys getting some if you don't already have some, because I know some of you guys do have them because, you know, it's well recommended, especially like not just in skates, but like in general, right? All right, you guys, so the skates are on my feet right now, and I'm not nervous, but I can feel that I'm not as prepared or, like, ready to skate again because it's been quite a while, and I need to stop doing this. Like, I need to actually keep practicing every single day, but sometimes it's very, very hard. And let me tell you guys, like, every day is not going to be butterflies and rainbows. Um, prior to me getting my makeup done, I accidentally... Uh, took out Broly, right? And I had forgotten that Steve and I had gone um, to the gym in the morning and when we came back, we didn't close the gate. So I like literally left him out. He ran out and I didn't remember that. Next thing you know, Steve went to go check up on him. And while he was checking out through the window, like he realized that the gate was open and I was like, like I literally like almost dead a little bit, right? <laughs> um, thankfully, like we got a hold of him like within a minute after we were looking for him. Um, he was just down the street, but you guys like, and let me tell you guys, 
I was feeling so 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 bad, right? So everything was fine. We uh we put him inside and then after a while, because you know he had to go use the restroom and everything, so we let him out again and we started hearing him bark. And then Steve went to go check out uh, through the window and he was outside again, even whenever we had locked the gate and everything. So we need to figure out where he got out from. So yeah, you guys, I was feeling bad, but now I'm just like, hey, you're gonna get out regardless, right? So we need to fix that issue. But anyways, you guys, going back to that, make sure that um, you take, you know, a moment and hold yourself together because I was crying my eyes off. But yeah. I got my makeup done and yeah, feeling a little cuter right now, feeling a little better, but let's see how this skating goes because I think it's gonna kick my ass and make me cry some more. Your back hurts a little because <laughs> I know mine does. for the fun of it right but the knee pads are not allowing me so i'm gonna remove those and we're gonna attempt it once again <laughs> so as i am sitting here trying to remove the knee pads because i'm very sweaty they don't want to come off let me show you this i probably should take my skates off but still like they don't even want to go down <laughs> that arm is very weak so the size large even though it felt very bulky and big on me like I feel like if I were to size down no me hubieran entrado por aquí so 
I don't know if that happened to you guys as well but other than that I feel very secure very tight on that area which is really really good but then again I do have to try them outside outdoors and see how they do I feel like they're gonna be awesome um, so if anything I'll let you guys know in my next video because Steve and I have been planning to go to the park that's right here by our neighborhood. But all of this week, tiene que haber lluvia. Like right now, it was raining all day up until like 3 or 4 in the afternoon. And obviously, I'm not going to roll skate if it's like still wet, right? Um, so yeah, hopefully the weather does change and I'm able to go roller skate at the park. And I'll definitely let you, I'll definitely let you guys know how these do there. Going back to what I was talking about earlier earlier in this video like not every day is a good one and I feel like I go through stages or phases or maybe even season as, seasons at this point where there are some times that or some months that I'm very well motivated and I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to and then me llega como empatada <laughs> you know and um it just drags me down my energy is not there so i am definitely trying to get that up there because without energy without motivation like you really don't want to do anything and it's not like i'm depressed or anything um you know life's good or whatever but no sé like you know what i mean i think it's i rely a little bit too much on the sun you know the light and whenever it's raining it's gloomy and obviously if i'm working and the sun is out i can't roller skate and then it happens that whenever i'm off it's raining so again that's what drags me down at the end of the day but yeah hopefully that changes very very soon and i start being more active on my social media because i miss posting for you guys like no me llamen vanidosa or whatever, but I do like taking pictures, whether it's of me, whether it's like outdoors or whatever the case may be. Like I do enjoy all these things. I do enjoy making videos. That's why I even made a YouTube channel. Uh, we, Steve and I were talking about it the other day that even though he has a brighter personality, he's very outgoing. Like I'm the one that's doing YouTube and that's the reason. And the reason behind that is because I do enjoy all of these things, but... Like I said, I do go through some phases where I just don't have that motivation and it kills me sometimes and sometimes I can be a procrastinator, procrastinator. but yeah, like it's a little bit of everything. Um, let me know down below if you guys often feel that way or if you always have your life together because that would be awesome. <laughs> not gonna lie, but like I said, don't feel bad if it's not the case. I know that I try to get out of my own head sometimes. Like I said, I'm not depressed or anything, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that part because I wanted to go ahead and share more than, you know, roller skating. I wanna show my emotions and my feelings and stuff like that, but yeah. Uh, if you guys um, are interested still, go ahead and subscribe, alright? <laughs> Bye guys.